Hey campers and RVers, I'm getting ready for tomorrow. I've got a lot of driving to do tomorrow and one of the things I like to do is prepare um, stuff to take in the car with me because it um, saves me from needing to stop and come in the camper and prepare meals and stuff like that. So I like to always uh, do healthy things like oranges or some type of snack to have and it just makes it a lot easier and you save money instead of having to buy uh, you know sandwiches on the road or stop for for lunch um, I do sometimes stop for lunch at like maybe a picnic or a, a picnic area or a park and just to get out of the car and and uh, stretch my leg I like to bring my own snacks and um, make sure that they're fairly healthy and um, it just makes things go a little easier and uh, get more miles under my belt that way. I'm staying at an RV place that I found through Passport America. It um, is right off the freeway. It's very convenient. It's fairly brand new. There's only one other camper that's here and it has full hookups. It has the water and, and, and uh, has the electric and the sewage. Um, so I'll take you outside and show it to you and see what you think. So they have so many spots. I don't even know how many they have. Probably like at least 30 or something. And uh, you can see the freeway entrance is right over there. There's only one other camper here. You can see the gas stations over there, not a, not a far walk. And then they have truckers uh, parking. But uh, free showers if you pay to stay in the park if you want to go inside instead of taking a shower in the RV. There's a place to get some the little store inside was pretty cute. They had different kind of trinkets and stuff. So there's one other camper here. But look at the spacious spots. And um, like I said, the electrical is all brand new and it's extremely convenient. So there's my Starlink. I had great reception with that, no issues there. Just a quick update I went into the uh, store that they have here at this park and uh and it's has they have all kinds of cool gifts and stuff like that so found something that i want to get and for somebody and i'm going to go in and get it but uh, they have beer wine um all kinds of stuff in the store and it is an ihop a pizza place and also uh they have a burger joint in there as well so all kinds of neat little things they do not have a trash can out here in the rv area but um it's not a big deal you just walk over and throw your trash away. Uh, so check back with you later. Dave, I went inside the uh, travel stop and I guess they call it a travel RV store. I'm not exactly sure what they call it. A travel center. I went inside the travel center and they said that the IHOP is not in business, that they just have the light on for whatever reason. So they, the burger joint and the, um, Pizza place is open till 10 and then on the weekends it's open till 11. They have all kinds of little trinkets in there and I was able to get this cute little slippers um, that have Westies on them. They're West Highland White Terriers are just super cute and I couldn't resist getting these. So I thought they were so cute. They have other dogs as well. Um, so I was able to get that. Uh, the other thing is the uh, dump state or excuse me the sh they have showers in there as well and the gal told me that you can go in there just show them your receipt for your RV stay and you can take a shower for free they have laundry facilities I mean they have a whole robust amount of stuff in there uh, I think they're pretty much trying to accommodate uh, truckers stopping in 
I've had a really long day of driving, so I'm sorry that I'm so tired tonight. Okay, can't present our beers. I'm getting on, back on the road and just wanted to share this little tip with you. I made my own lunch so I don't have to stop and take time to go into a restaurant. And uh, I have some oranges, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, banana and some cookies uh, for my ride. And I stayed at this awesome, totally awesome RV place. It's like a truck stop, travel center. It was, um, it's right off the I-20 and it cost me $16 a night. I have full hookup and um, it's a little bit noisy with the, the traffic, but once you're inside your coach, you don't really hear much. Um, but full hookups, water, sewage, and electric. And so it's a great place. There's a gas station. Also, there's a burger joint and a pizza joint. You can get something to eat. The uh, IHOP there is out of business and they serve food up until like 10, 11 o'clock at night. So I'll definitely keep this in mind when I'm in the area or passing through. It's uh, brand new facilities and uh, the, the pads that you park on are completely level and the electrical outlets are all brand new. The water pressure was fantastic. So I have just nothing but the best to say about it. You can go inside and take free showers if you want. Um, you just show them the receipt that you paid for your stay. And again, I paid $16 to stay here and gosh, well worth it. And it's gonna be so convenient to get on the freeway uh, to get out of this cold weather that I've been experiencing. I'm looking forward to warmer weather. So I wanted to share all that information with you if you're in the area. This is off of the I-20 near Abilene, and it's a fantastic uh, place to uh, stop and rest for the night, fuel up so that you can get on the uh, road early, which I'm doing today. The other snack that I usually bring as well are some uh, seeds, some flower seeds. They pack a lot of protein and just kind of gives you something to snack on when you have a lot of driving to do. So anyways, hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.